Hello everybody, it's Ginger on Wheels here again. Thanks for stopping by the channel where we get to test and review the latest electrically wheeled gadgets. This is going to be another video featuring the Kingsong S22 electric unicycle, and again, big thanks goes out to Alien Rides for sending this wheel for review, the only PEV retailer with a two-year limited warranty. Today we're going to watch this great footage from the Insta360 ONE X2 while we talk about the do's and don'ts of off-roading your electric unicycle. Okay, so first I'm going to start by correcting myself. I had said in previous videos that this wheel is not great for off-roading, and while that may be true for some people, after this ride in the woods, I do think the S22 definitely has its place on the trails. What the wheel lacks in off-the-line torque, it definitely makes up for in comfort and agility. You see, this wheel has suspension, fully adjustable suspension actually, and the suspension also means your pedals are a bit higher off the ground than normal. And when you combine both of these aspects, you end up with a system that's both nimble and forgiving. As long as you have the momentum going up steep inclines, there isn't a whole lot this wheel can't do. After riding through all sorts of off-road terrain, I'm convinced that for most people, the S22 will make an excellent off-roading wheel. Now let's talk about the do's and don'ts if you're taking your unicycle off-road. First, it's always best to make sure you have a full charge when starting your ride. Even if your charge isn't 100% by the time you make it to the trailhead, keep in mind that the more juice you have in the tank, the less likely you'll be to experience a low voltage cutout. When you're off-roading, even at low speeds, it can be easy to overpower your wheel if the motor is asking for more watts than the battery can provide. On to my second do. Do use your wheel's calibration settings, or app, to tilt the pedals back a bit. When you're navigating tricky terrain, the last thing you want is to clip your pedals, and if they're tilted back when you hit an unforeseen obstacle, you stand a much higher chance of recovering balance when you're not knocking the front of your pedals on roots or rocks. Secondly, I recommend a great set of power pads. Being able to grip the wheel with your legs adds a crazy amount of control, not to mention it's the best way to get the power out of whatever wheel you're riding. Lucky for us, the Kingsong S22 comes stock with a set of aggressive power pads, and these are almost essential for any type of extreme riding, but especially for off-roading. On trails, you'll find yourself accelerating as hard as you can, only to be surprised by a quick turn that requires braking, and having full control of your wheel at times like this is essential. That brings me to my next point. Always be aware of what lies ahead. Trail riding requires extreme attention to detail and terrain. When I'm riding off-road, I'm always watching for what's coming up ahead. At 20 or 30 miles an hour, turns or obstacles, jumps, routes, or even oncoming bikers can show up in an instant, so be sure to keep your eyes down the trail. And my next piece of advice is to keep your knees bent at all times. It's a real workout most of the time for your upper legs and lower back, and you'll probably regret wearing the amount of clothes you've chosen, but having your legs bent will prevent you from flying off the wheel anytime you hit a hidden dip in the trail or bumps in the roots. Now let's talk about some don'ts. Don't assume you know the trail just because you've been there before. Changes in any trail can happen quickly, whether it be by traffic from human feet working the trail into a new shape or rain washing sections away. It's always in your best interest to stay on your mental A game. My next don't is don't fly by pedestrians, bikers, or wildlife. It's always best to give your space and say your please and thank yous. This will help ensure that riders after you can experience the same joy you are on any given day. Also, it's in your best interest to ride in full gear. Don't pull a shibby time and full send through the woods with no helmet. Recognize that Shibby is an EUC god and that you are not him. Crashes do happen even to the best of us and I want to see you ride for another day. And lastly, don't forget to have fun. Pushing yourself and your wheel to the limits off-road is one of the most rewarding experiences I know of. There's always something new coming your way and it's a great way to grow as a person on and off the trail. <laughs> 